We are headed over to the Westside YMCA and we're pretty much summer camp counselors for the day. <laughs> and yeah, we're working with the nine through 12 year olds. So it's gonna be a little bit more interesting. They like to talk more. In general, the YMCA's kind of idea about us is that we're not summer camp counselors, is we're role models all the time. One of the first things that they tell you when you're kind of applying and you're doing your interview is that you're not in this for the money, you're in it for the kids and for the community and all these different things that um, I didn't know I wanted to be a part of until I was a part of it. And so like while being an athlete is such a, I, I love it and it's a platform that I wouldn't give up for anything. I, I kind of enjoy being this person that these kids get to look up to in addition to being an athlete. So it's not that I'm an athlete and they look up to me, it's that I'm this person that they look up to and then I happen to be an athlete at Michigan State. Talia is a builder. We don't call ourselves counselors here because counselors to kids sometimes seems like, oh, I'm going here to talk about my problems. So we use the term builders. Uh, I'm gonna be in the news. <laughs> so we're building positive role models for children. Oh, 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 this is a good matchup. Emma! Oh, nice, Emma. Girl power! <laughs> Girl power. Oh, oh, Autumn, oh. you're hanging in there! Darnell's not trying, Darnell's not trying. <laughs> I think having a counselor like Talia has been really great. She's been very interactive with her kids, very patient with her kids, and she's kept them busy, kept them active, and I think she's been really great to have. It definitely takes patience, yeah. <laughs> Talia! 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 Is this a setup? Talia! What? She's always smiling, she's always engaged. The kids love her. Since day one, they've loved her. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ugh. Especially coming after COVID, where kids don't really know a lot of other people. She's definitely another role model that these kids can lean on. Listen, eyes and ears on me so I can explain the game. Explain the game. All right, we're doing giant ring toss. The hula hoops are your rings, the cones are what you're trying to toss them onto. Oh, nice. Two points. Ooh, ah! <laughs> oh, heads up. Is she someone that's easy to look up to? Yeah. How come? Because she's very nice and kind, and she knows how to treat people with respect. She helps you if you're feeling down, and she like gets you back up. And she's funny. She's sweet. She's um, nice to play with a lot. Camp wouldn't be without fun without her. <laughs> Amaya, you are so fast. Oh wow! I had to put the wheels on. You put them in. Sports mode? We did it! We did it. He looks like a minion. No, no, you <laughs> she's really fun when we play in the gym. Like, she's really fast too. Like, she's hard Super to get. Super Sonic. <laughs> uh, no, not you two. You guys are quick. <laughs> I should be on the track team. <laughs> Getting to work here has been so awesome. I couldn't have asked for a better internship, but also better people to be working with and around. Like everybody here is so, so great and we all share similar passions and that's doing this for the kids and being there for the kids. I didn't know that she was a volleyball player. I didn't know she was athletic because she jumps over the fence to get balls. She never told us. And literally we just found out today. Were you surprised? Yes. For Talia to keep her being a volleyball player a secret shows that she wanted to put the kids first and not herself first because a lot of people, they will say, oh, I play this and I do this, and it takes away from the kids and it, it doesn't let them know who you really are. And so to keep that a secret for as long as she did was great because they got to know her as Talia and not as Talia the volleyball player for MSU. Oh my gosh, I feel like it's very awesome to be with a volleyball player. I've never been with like an actual person that plays sports and be like able to actually connect for like a long time instead of like talking for like five seconds. It's a lot better than that and it's like a lot cooler. I guess, I think my time is about like two minutes. Oh my god, you almost did. Oh, you already know I can solve it. It just takes me a minute. 
After you do it, can I do it? It's not. <laughs> what? After I do it, yeah, I'll give it to you. It's definitely, I think, refreshing from the really, really fast-paced, busy life that being a student athlete is. None of it feels like a job to me. It doesn't feel like something that I have to be doing. This has been a really nice touch to kind of like my senior summer, and I just feel so fortunate to be able to, one, have this opportunity at Michigan State that I have to play volleyball, and then, two, having this opportunity, not just the experience of working with kids, but kind of getting to know them as people and helping them out and being a role model for them. Ha, 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 ha.